Hey guys, my name is Austin and I just wanted to share with you three quick things that you can do to make your Slack experience a lot better because I think Slack is a great, great program, especially for companies that have a whole lot of different like threads and channels and teams that need to cooperate together, but it's not very clean, I want to say, from the default settings. Like there's a lot of clutter, as you can see here on my sidebar, there's just a whole lot of clutter and it's kind of a mess uh, without actually like setting your own preferences. So let's set some preferences. The first thing I want to do is show off like starring things. You'll see here I've got a couple of things under my starred messages uh, threads. And to do this, you just go up to here and click this tiny little star, not this big one. This big one will actually bring up a list of your starred threads and whatnot that aren't uh, over here. I don't currently have any, obviously, but if I did, there'd be a whole sluice of them right there. For, for messages and channels, uh, this star right here will immediately move uh, it up to your starred messages area. So that way you have it um, always the displaying and you'll get those notifications right at the top of your priority list. Um, this is great for if you have a lot of like really important communications with either a single person or there's an entire channel, like say this one where you just want to like make sure you see everything that goes on in there um, at the top of your priority list. Um, and you can pare this down even further because you'll see while I've got some start things there, there's still a whole lot of direct messages that I do want to maintain, but I don't really want in my start area. So I can go into my preferences right here and go to the sidebar thing. I've already got this clicked because I was undoing a lot of my settings. And you hit unreads and starred conversations only showing up in the sidebar. And that just got rid of everything that I'm not currently working with, except for my starred messages, which are rather important to keep up there. Um, this will be, so if somebody direct messages me right now, which I'm hoping somebody does just for an example, it'll automatically just pop up with their name or in the channel, it'll pop up with the channel name and a one or two or however many messages that I need to read. Um, this makes it a lot more easy to keep track of uh, the important things you want and to filter out all of that clutter. Uh, speaking of clutter, another thing you can do, so if I, uh, I'm going to undo this so I can go to my general much more easily. Um, it's a little, it does kind of make it a little more difficult to like get to specific channels if you want to do that. It's a couple extra clicks, but it's so worth it, I promise. Um, so you'll notice here in my general channel, um, there's a lot of clutter right here. There's links, there's emojis, there's, there's images, just a whole lot of stuff that I don't really want to see. It makes it to where I can only see like two messages at a time rather than five or six. So to remedy this, I can go into my preferences once again, go to messages and media and come down here. Uh, we'll start with getting rid of the emojis because uh, if you have jumbo emojis or if you've got a lot of them, uh, you can still clutter up a message. Uh, you can hit display emojis as plain text. So that way you'll see up here and right here, it converted the actual emoji that they had to just the text it's trying to show. Um, this can be a little confusing if you're not really familiar with how emojis work, but I'm, I'm young, I'm 23, I'm familiar with emojis, so this works well for me. Uh, but the main bulk of it, to get rid of those awful images and all those horrible previews you don't really want to see, disable all of this stuff. Uh, disable the images, disable files uh, uploaded. It's just going to get rid of all of that preview stuff that you don't really need to see. And if we go back to our general chat, now you'll see that all these links are just links, and it's reducing the clutter way, way more. Um, I don't, oh, there we go. There's that one. Sometimes it'll take a minute to reload everything because um, it wants to keep with your automatic uh, preferences, but you don't want it to do that. Um, so all of these are just going to slowly go away as we go. Um, and that just makes the every channel you're in a lot less cluttered and a lot more uh, readable um, and makes links um, a little more, a little less obvious, but at the same time, that way you don't have to like see all the stuff in the link that you don't really need to read. Um, and the last thing, this one's really simple. This one um, isn't hard at all and it's kind of common sense, but I, I, I mute a lot of things. So um, I'm going to mute this general chat because this is this is just like a repository for my, my program to just dump things that they want to see uh, or dump things that they want to just dump on people. Um, so if you go to channel settings, this gear right here, and then down here, it'll say mute hashtag general. Um, that just makes it to where you don't get um, notifications from that from that channel. Um, I recommend only doing this for channels that you know that you're not really going to have to see. Like if there's a meme page or there's like just a after hours coffee break channel on your on your uh, company's Slack, then uh, you can mute that so that way it doesn't clutter up the actually important notifications that you want to get. Um, I'm going to change back my preferences so that way I don't have to see all that clutter. But this way, um, it'll keep you focused on the task at hand, focus on the important stuff. Um, and if you want to stay even more focused on the important stuff, you can actually, instead of having it sorted alphabetically, 
you can go to priority right here um, and sort conversations based on how often you use them rather than just like the name of them. So you'll see Sarah got bumped way or bumped up ahead of Christian right there because I message her way, way more than Christian does um, because we're actually working on a project together. Um, and it'll, it'll do that intelligently. If you stop messaging someone nearly as often, then it'll lower their priority and raise up other priorities uh, based on a general timing that Slack uh, uses with its own algorithms. So yeah, those are my three general tips to make sure that your Slack experience is as, is as fluid as possible. There's a ton more things you can do that are all just like more personal preferences rather than um, examples of things that I, I think everyone should really do. But um, yeah, thanks for watching.